end well. What is going down in Grooftown Internet is my name's Sam Marsden and today we're finally getting around to doing the church. Now, I was considering this in doing one of two ways, either doing it kind of like a time lapse and doing some voiceover, but I thought, nah, let's just do it the regular way. Now, I've set out some basics already, just a sort of width that's uh, all on that my uh, minuscule brain will get the numbers in a moment. 13 long by however many it is over here it's, I'm sure you could probably count it through the uh, recurring patterns uh, my, my brain just doesn't want to process numbers today so yeah and just on the side as you see with most English churches there's a what I'm gonna be oh I'm gonna put a bell tower down there basically okay so let's get going with this now with typical churches, over here in England especially, which what we're using is the inspiration for the build, you um, typically have entrances inside a um, small exterior building, so we'll just uh, get how this looks first. Now we're using nether brick for the roofing, which considering it's a church, kind of ironic, but uh, Irony aside, it's quite. It's, it's, I've always said it's a nice building material. And um, normally I'd use something like cobblestone for the roof, because typically these old churches had lead roofs. Roofs? Roofs? Um, until Henry VIII came along. He's like, no! No lead roof for you! But uh, there's already going to be too much grey in this build, so we need to break that up a bit. It just brings a bit more colour. So that's more or less what we're going for with the entrance. Now at some point we're going to decorate that up a bit more. <clears throat> I want this to be quite tall. I mean, in terms of what goes into the middle areas to break up the wall, we can decide that in a little bit. We just want to build up a suitable height first. So, um, I mean, churches are quite tall buildings, so I mean, probably up to this height would be more than sufficient. And there's a pig there. Get out of here! Joke it. Oh, okay, now he's in the church. Okay, so it's, it's a Christian pig. <laughs> Christian pigs. <laughs> Uh, once again, you can tell my sanity is just gradually drifting away. Just off into the sunset. Okay, so now we've sorted out the roof. We need to look into breaking up the patterns a bit of it. Now, for those of you who are religious, you know that um, churches typically have arched sort of windows, fairly big ones. Now, if I was doing this build in PC, I'd be using stained glass windows. Just just another feature that PC is fortunate to have that we don't have yet. So I want to um, go through and put in some big sort of windows. I mean, you can make these five blocks wide and just make the um, arch look a bit more obvious. And maybe this is a bit excessive for windows. Having um, three in, so I'll launch at me. Yeah, I think having three in is a bit excessive. Smashy, smashy. So I'll make it um, three windows on this side, and it's probably just going to be two on that side because of the bell tower. Okay, so let's. Um, Line this up and uh, bring it over to the other side. Oh, perfect. Yeah, we can get two on this side. Oh, there's a. That pig's back again. <laughs> okay, so nearly there. Right, so we've got the windows in it. Now typically there's also a large window 
behind where the altar is, or the um, plinth. I'm not sure what the technical term for it is. I, I don't really go to church. The only time I've ever actually been inside churches was back in primary school, which is seven or eight years ago. Tops. So I, I, I'm an agnostic. So, uh, yeah, I typically don't go to churches. But in terms of architectural inspiration, brilliant things to look at. There's so many awesome looking buildings. In real life, I'm talking. Over in the UK. And uh, there's just... Yeah, so many places you can get inspiration for your own builds. Ah, that looks better. Okay, so we've got this big grand glass window. Glass. Very posh. <laughs> it looks a bit more arched than the others. No. Uh, I don't know why I do that camera movement thing, just changing my views when I build walls like that. Something different to look at other than a wall gradually being built. Now, I kind of feel we need to do something with this here. Now, I'm thinking maybe we could put a smaller arch in. So, uh, we'll, we'll give that a go. See how that looks. It's that block. And where could we uh, build it down to? can build it down to that, I suppose. Should look alright. If you wanted to, I know I've got them on my um, hot bar. Is there uh, some smooth stone and chiseled stone? If you wanted to, you could maybe go around some of these areas, like maybe the areas around the windows with smooth stone or chiseled stone. Because the good thing about um, smooth stone on the stone brick is the way the textures work together is it gives it a bit more depth or it looks like it's got a bit more depth when you stand back and look at it and I quite like that it's a pretty cool little effect and like that that um, stone actually looks a bit set back into the building so I'm just going to go through and uh, border these windows I'm going to leave the bottom bit sort of just as stone bricks, so I want to go back up and change this. Okay, now I've done that. It's not immediately noticeable, but it does help to break up the textures somewhat, which is always a good thing. You don't want a recurring sort of look all the way throughout your build, so it just makes it a little dull. So, um, now we've got the actual basics of the building done. We're not going to work on the roof yet. We just want to partially build up the bell tower. Now, this is one thing I think we can build out of stone because what churches used to do quite a bit was they'd build the main bit of the church would be that bit and then as the town grows they'd need to sort of have a bell tower so they could sort of announce Sunday prayer kind of like the um, mosques there what's the, what they're called minarets the um, things where there's the call to prayer shout from so religion is not my strong subject so I mean don't quote me on that then that's the point why are bells used I don't ever remember there being a bell in the Bible probably because I never actually read it but I don't know if you're um, if you're a Christian you know where that comes from just comment below uh, didn't get that out earlier this is just to top off these little um, strut supports that I normally put on walls, but uh, it's kind of appropriate to have them on the bell tower, I think. I'll keep that there just in case I need it again. Uh, going to build a little column up the middle. Because we just want to get this basically sorted out before we actually put a roof on, so we don't have to like go through and delete a load of the roof we've already made. Yeah, that, that'll about do it there. Now, um, I want to put the actual roof on itself. Now, like I normally do, bring the actual brick part of the roof out one block. Just to give it more depth. And on the sides here as well. Uh, 
and uh, just awkwardly negotiate around the uh, bell tower. Not it. Oops. This is quite a simple roof design. First, it's it's nothing special. It's just the build up this side to side and then half blocks when you get to the top, which not too far. Off. So I'll do up to there so you can see one side done and then you just need to repeat it on the other side. So like this again and you bring it back across. So why is there an iron golem outside that gate? I don't ever remember putting one of them out there. Just trying to photobomb this video. Like, hey guys! What's going on? Right, just to finish this off, just upside down stairs, just so it works better. This is one of those things I say you don't always have to do. Some of you, if you're playing using an older version of Minecraft, you'd um, probably have to do without for the time being. But that's the good thing about Minecraft, you make do with what you got. So. How do you get out here, you sneaky little bugger? So yeah, you can just replicate that down the other side, and I'll get back to you when I have done it myself. Okay, now that we've got that sorted out, we can um, start working on the bell tower itself. I was about to say decoration, but we'll uh, we'll get to that at some point soon. It doesn't want to be too big. It may be... Um, that's probably about the right height there, because you want to put a um, roof on this as well. Now, for those of you who haven't seen a bell tower before, the way it works is there's like a system of pulleys, sort of at the bottom. Well, that's just one way, it's two ways. That's one way, and the system of pulleys will um, pull some gears and ring the bell which is sort of the um, more typical way of a bell tower or the more common way you find them or oh, there's actually a circular spare, uh, spare case, uh, staircase up to the top and it's just sort of there with a, um, like a cord with the metal, big metal ball bearing on the end of it that when it's the bell produces the tone Science, yay! It's, it's not really scientific. It's uh, well, I suppose in many ways it is. Cause it's turning kinetic energy into sound energy, but uh, I'm talking about things you guys aren't interested in. So I'll shut up. <laughs> so again, like with the roof down there, we want to um, get it in a sort of a similar way. I mean, some bell towers have a um kind of like a four-sided triangle pyramid on top and then at like the very point there's like um, a cross but um, obviously with the restrictions you have in place in Minecraft you either have to build it you know like have a large build to be able to fit that much detail in or very good with how stairs work but because of the awkward placement techniques in 360 edition it's uh not the best. It's why when I build um, ships I don't use upside down stairs. It's just too much of a pain. It'd look a lot better. It's like on the um, themed world I built where I've got that desert city that I showcased. I've got a um, little town in that with a big airship. I built that as soon as we got the update for the upside down stairs. So, um, yeah. It's been there a while. Uh, I'm tired. Uh, sorry about that. But, uh, that's, that's what happens, kids, when you're up until three in the morning, drinking beer and watching the Ricky Gervais show. Okay, and just inside, we'll just do that. 
is the basics of the bell tower. Now, some bell towers will have like a, um, kind of like an arch, again, like the arch windows, but it'd be kind of like a, a mesh sort of thing in it. So that's, that's, that's kind of what we're going to do here. I mean, this idea just occurred to me literally just right now. So, um, we'll bring these walls in by one, and we'll go and grab some, uh, get rid of them for a moment. Uh, I can never remember where these are. Iron bars. And while we're here, might as well grab a gold block. Because, uh, those are useful for when you make a bell. So I just want to fill in this area with these bars and it'll get that nice sort of look I was on about ok it doesn't quite work up there but you won't, you won't notice that from the ground ok so we're just going to use some of the would appear to produce what looks like the pulley system. And uh, this is going to be like the worst looking bell you've ever seen, but uh, it'll do. It'll do. Improvising. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> it looks crap, but to be honest, you're only going to see this from the ground, so it doesn't need to be perfect. I think you can leave it dark up here as well, so you don't need torches. What? do probably need though is, oh, I didn't grab it then, some fences, I'll just bring it back down here, and this is like that pulley that I was on about, I've um, not gone going up the other side, and uh, I'll just let this happen rather than waste time turning it off, they really need to have this introduced as like a background running feature, in Xbox One edition, sort of, so it doesn't like interrupt the game. So I'm not sure about you, but it's a really annoying in survival if you're about to encounter a creeper and he's about to explode on you, and then autosave comes along. It's like the worst thing about 360 edition, I reckon, other than the world size. So, yeah, I, don't, I don't really think anyone's too happy with the world size. So I'll just. I'll just stick a couple of torches in it just to light it up. It's pretty dark. So we can now take a look outside at the church. Now it doesn't look very church like, does it? So what we can do actually is we can um put a Actually this would probably be best made out of stone. To be honest. So my god, where are all these iron golems coming from? Oh, that's alright, actually. Like that. Just let me uh, deal with this golem epidemic. Are these just naturally spawning? Sorry, Mr. Golem. Oh. Oh, he's a raven golem. Your hands in the air like you just don't care. Unfortunately, Mr. Golem, I do care. You just tried to hit me. Get out of here, Joker. Didn't trample any crops, at least. They must be naturally spawning. I don't know where they're coming from. So, yeah. Now we've got that sorted out. <laughs> After going off on a tangent, we can work on the inside. Oh, no, we're not going to need that anymore anyway. The roof doesn't look very sort of stable, and I like to have um, a stability look in my roof, in my buildings. Now, in churches, from what I remember, there's normally like big wooden beams to hold up the roof. So, like I said, they used to be made of lead before Henry VIII, and um. They obviously needed something that was quite sturdy to hold them up, so uh, let's just 
are perfect that so every two blocks if you're building this to the dimensions that I am. Making mistakes is all part of the learning curve. Is it Albert Einstein who said, A man who has never made any mistakes has never learned anything new? It's a quote of the day. We'll, uh, we'll bring each of these down by another block just to make it look more sort of sturdy. If you wanted to, maybe you could put a beam going across between these two. Um, sort of struts as it were, sort of like that maybe. So you got this kind of A shape. I'm pro about, probably about to get spammed with party invites. <laughs> I don't think so, I think his mic's broken. Still. Going off on a tangent. Actually, that's an interesting concept. Place your bets. Do you reckon I'm going to get message bombed? It's uh, it's like a photo bomb, but with recording a video and someone sending you a message. For uh, those of you who didn't know that term that I, I think I just made up. I just came up with it independently. Maybe it is an actual term that YouTubers use. I I have no idea. Oh dear. So, <clears throat> this could turn. Oh dear, there he is. <laughs> so, I want to. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I just noticed the irony of saying that. <laughs> oh, flipping heck. I nearly had a slip of the tongue there. I try not to swear in these things. So, there we go. And just to finish off the decor. Put some chairs in this. A bit like pews. If I can put them up to there, because we've got the carpet down the middle that peeps can walk down. Peeps and priests. And by peeps, I mean peoples. Oh, he's, he's right there. Uh, hold on, I'll have to get back to you in a moment. But this is more or less it for the interior. I'll do the exterior in a moment. Okay, now that we've resolved that issue, we can get around to the outside decoration, mainly the graveyard, because, you know, it's, it's something that would exist. Well, of course they exist, we have them in, uh, in real life, don't we? Unless you're um, a fan of cremations. Sure. Whatever floats your boat, really. Now, to make graves is a really simple sort of design. It's actually quite widely used, actually. Use two half slabs like that, put a torch on one, and then a sign behind it as a headboard. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what you'd want to put on those as those headboards. And maybe, um, like in Shadow Visifel, maybe you're going to put some sort of comedy tombstones. You know, we find death a bit melancholy, don't we? I mean, introducing a bit of humour is it's all right, isn't it? I could put down uh, on the grave Justin Bieber. Thank God for that. It's like his epitaph. The dude's out of control. I mean, especially the amount of times he's been arrest arrested recently. Not to put a tree in there. I mean, you don't want it to look too devoid of life. Now, I know that being a graveyard, it's kind of the point, but uh, you want to have it. I mean, graveyards are sort of normally well tended, aren't they? So, nah. Um, you could even build a little crypt as well if you want. So, um, actually, build one pretty quickly. And uh don't need 
you know, don't need to be huge. And there are probably better guides out there for building crypts, but uh, this is just me quickly throwing one together. Uh. Oh, okay, someone's buried in the roof. Um, <laughs> oh dear. No, I think I'm just sticking with a couple of torches there. See, I mean, there's any number of ways you can do these graveyards. But, um, as I normally say, it's just, I'm just giving you the ideas and rough outlines. It's up to you to decide whether you want to follow these exactly or whether you want to take little bits and adapt into your own styles. But that's, that's more or less it, lads and lasses. So um, if you like this video and you want to support the series, hit a like and subscribe because it takes me a while to get motivated and there's only certain times I can record these now with um, when I'm working and such. But um, certainly showing your appreciation for the series by dropping a like is greatly appreciated. It helps me out and gets me motivated to make more of these. So um, I shall see you later.